tutorials, you might notice something a little bit different. I am now on Mac, and I'm really liking it a lot. Um, maybe to finish this tutorial off, I might start using Coda instead of Dreamweaver, because I just like it better, but let's worry about that later. Let's go ahead and get started. We left off with this, which is pretty much just the header. So one mistake I see we uh, forgot to do is put a, uh, what do you call those, quotation mark at the end of this, and that was messing up the page. So let's go ahead and save that after putting that on there, and start doing the navigation. So let's just make a few spaces here, and get started. So I'm going to start off with uh, making a list, which is li, and then an anchor, which is a, and this anchor is going to have the class name of the button, and the button is home. So href equals, and this is where that button is going to link to. So since this is home, it's going to be index.php, and the title equals home. You don't need to add a title, but I like to just put one, because I'm extra cool. All right, not really. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And let's do that one more time. And we are going to name this one forum. And then instead of a link, I'm just going to put a pound sign because it's not going to link anywhere. And then let's name this forum. Now for the sake of time, I'm just going to uh, copy and paste the rest of the links. Let's go ahead and paste it right here. Let me just clean this up a little bit. And good enough. Alright, so now if we preview this in Firefox, you can see we have these little dots right here. And no buttons, nothing. So now that means that we have to do the styles for it. So let's uh, make a comment and go to navigation. Alright, so now to uh, get started, we are going to uh, call upon this navigation background and give the navigation a uh, background. Simple enough. So navigation underscore bg, and we are going to say background, and URL is images, uh, what is it? nav underscore bg dot PN, png and we don't want it to repeat and we want it to be on the top left alright so now we also want to give it a width which is 893 pixels height of 58 pixels and we want it to be centered so we're going to go margin 0 auto go ahead and close that off and now, when you make a list, it always has those bullet points, so we want to get rid of those. So we are going to uh, specify this a little bit more with UL navigation and go list style uh, is none. All right. Okay, so now I uh, got thrown off there because I skipped a step. We need to specify navigation. So I'm going to go to navigation, and we are going to say float left, and then margin left is going to be 50 pixels, and margin top is going to be 15 pixels. Close that up, make this a little bit neater. And now let's get a little bit more specific with UL navigation li. And for this, we're going to display inline, which is going to display it horizontally instead of vertically. Let's make this a little bit neater once again. And yet, once again, a little bit more specific. So, UL navigation li a. So, we start off with UL navigation. Then we went to UL navigation and the list and then we went to or right now we're going to anchor so ul navigation anchor and for this we are going to say text indent 
and the indent is going to be negative nine 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 billion trillion pixels it doesn't matter and display is going to be block all right and now we want to float left and the height is going to be the height of our buttons and that is 23 pixels and margin left is going to be 15 pixels so let's close that up save it I like to save a lot so now that we have the anchor we're going to get once again a little more specific and call upon the class so I'm going to start off with UL navigation LIA dot and this is going to be home alright so now for the home since we already have the height we only need to give it the width because only the width changes and that's going to be 66 pixels uh, we want it to float left and now we just want to uh, tell it what the background image is going to be and that is images buttons and this is button underscore home dot png and we don't want it to repeat and again zero zero and close that off so now if we open up Firefox hopefully this will all work let's reload it and there we go we have home button click it and it just goes back to the home page alright so now you want to do that for all your buttons and again for the sake of time thanks to uh, YouTube's limit I'm going to just copy and paste that in and if you look it over it's all the same thing I called upon forum give it gave it the width told to float left and told it what the background image is did that for news members download and that's it so let me save this open up Firefox reload and you can see we have all of our buttons right there all right and that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next one, I will show you how to make all of these roll over into its other state.